Please find your way to your seats. We'll be starting at 6.30. Please find your way to the seats.
625, please find your way to your seats. We'll be starting in momentarily.
Welcome to the Metropolitan Theater in downtown Winnipeg. Tonight's event, the Manitoba Business Hall of Fame Gala Dinner. This year's inductees are Mr. Jim Gauthier, founder of Jim Gauthier Automotive Group. Mr. Dave Johnston, founder of the Johnston Group. A night to remember for them, their families, their companies, and our community. Plus, we will highlight past inductees who have a presence at tonight's event. Two JAers will receive scholarships. We will hear their stories. In fact, you'll get a chance to meet a JAer up close and personal. And lastly, a fireside chat to remember with business legends Jim Goche and Dave Johnston. All this right here inside the beautiful Met, starting in 10, 2, 1. Would you please welcome tonight's Master of Ceremonies back for his fourth time, Mr. Greg Bieber. Wow, what a crowd. This is usually where I wait for you, settling in from the reception area, sitting down, so I'll wait. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. You look so very nice. Hi, the Johnson Group are right here. This is a sold out affair, this is amazing. Hello. Hi Adam, hi Nicole, hi, how are you guys? You're, when you're ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Sold out. It does take a while. It does take a while. When you're ready, I'm ready.
Would you like to get started? trying to find something. Almost there. The feedback that we had at the last dinner that those that are on the main floor and the top shelf, but even on the other side of the railing said sometimes we couldn't hear the start of my remarks when I weaved in and out of the evening. So I want to make sure that tonight we all travel together at the same time from start to finish. So up on the back shelf, you can hear me nice and clear? Yeah? Okay, perfect. Okay, we're good? You ready? Okay, let's do this. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Greg Bieber. I am your master of ceremonies this evening and also your moderator of tonight's fireside chat. And on behalf of JA Manitoba, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you to the beautiful Met here in downtown Winnipeg for a milestone evening, the 10th annual Manitoba Business Hall of Fame inductee ceremony and gala dinner featuring two amazing entrepreneurs here in Winnipeg, Mr. Jim Goche, Jim Goche of the Automotive Group founder. Let's hear it for Jim. and Mr. Dave Johnston, founder of the Johnston Group. Okay, he gets the prize. Jim and Dave are here along with their family members, dear friends, and many of their colleagues. And congratulations, gentlemen. My only hope for you tonight is that you soak up the adulation that's so rightfully deserved for everything you've done in the business and in our community. And we're going to get to that this evening. Before I go any further, for the last nine years, and including the 10th year, and I don't know where they went, but I'm going to walk over as if they're there. Helen White and the Helen White band. Helen, Jim, and I think it's Helen White, Jim, and, Jim and uh, it might be Bob. They provided us music during the reception and also throughout dinner. They'll be back here at 7 o'clock. They're right there. I don't know where you guys are, but let's give them a round of applause. A couple leprechauns, maybe. I should have told you to stay there, Helen. Anyway, lovely music. So by a show of hands, how many are here for the very first time at this event? Well, where have you been? You're in for a real treat tonight. For you that are returning, I think you have an idea of the format. For those that are new, here's how this evening is going to play out. And you put a little bit more pressure on me tonight with a six-minute transition from the intro to here, but let's see if we can pull it off. There's three parts to the evening. The first part is my opening remarks that we're going to hear from various speakers. We're going to hear from an MLA. We're going to hear from our mayor. Where are you, uh, mayor? There you are, right over there. Okay. Uh, we're going to hear from our presenting sponsor. We always love presenting sponsors and sponsors in general. And we're going to hear from the president and CEO of JA Manitoba. That's part one. That'll take us to about seven o'clock. Part two, dinner. 
dinner from 7 till about 8.30. Inside that dinner, in, in addition to your meals, of course, and your, your drink, your nourishment, we're going to have two present, uh, presentations to Junior Achievement uh, Scholarships. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to need your help. When I come up here, the man from GLAD in the white tux, when I stand here, I won't start until you're ready to go, so we give these JAers their rightful due uh, in their awards, because not only will they get an award, but they're also, we're going to hear their stories. And we have Dave Johnston and Jim Goethe and many successful business people for them to aspire towards, so let's give them their airtime. And then where we lose control of the evening is 40 JAers from up top are going to come down to the tables and share their hopes and dreams with you and perhaps some inventions they might have. And we totally lose control. We brought this back after this pandemic. It's a ton of fun. It's their time and your time. We'll probably do that for 10 or 15 minutes at around, and that's part two. Part three, the final part, is the inductee ceremony. I'd like to get started as close to 8.30, probably 8.27 as possible. Every minute counts. Every minute counts now especially. We'll do the inductee ceremony, special presentation, and then we get a fireside chat with Jim and Dave, and I'll talk about that format. At 9.30... Full stop. We're done. We're done. I shut it down. How do I know? Because I'm running the show. So if you want to be out of here at 931 at home with the rum in your hand watching the National by 10, it's all yours. But after we got you till 930, but at 931, it's all your time. And many mingle for an hour after. Uh, feel free to, uh, to stick around. So that's part one, part two, part three. That's, that's our evening together. You got it? We're good? I think it's important to acknowledge and honor the indigenous peoples that have lived on the, and cared for this land for thousands of years. When I share a land acknowledgement, uh, it reminds me of the ongoing presence and the resilience of those in our Manitoba communities. I think we're all aware now that we're on Treaty 1 territory, land of the Dene, the Ojibwe, the Cree, and the Dakota people, also the homeland and birthplace of the Métis Nation. I think we're also aware we're on Treaty 3 territory. The water that's on our table that we drink that comes out of our tap water comes to cottage country in Shoal Lake 40 First Nation. Ironically, and you've heard me say this before, it's now the water they get to drink. We've been taking it out of a tap for years because of their water and a tri their water treatment facility here. Now they don't have to put a, a pan in the water and then boil it because they're under boil advisory for 25 years. They now drink the same water we do. I think that's kind of cool. And the electricity we use is from Treaty 5 territory, that's, that's up north. Somewhere along the line, about 150 some years ago, well before my time, there was an agreement signed between the indigenous peoples and our, our forefathers uh, in the spirit of partnership. I think as it's played out, there's, a, there's quite a bit of colonialism attached to it, and I think that's why we acknowledge the harms and the mistakes that we have made of the past. And we work very hard, harder than ever, uh, in partnership with our indigenous communities in the spirit of truth, reconciliation, and collaboration. Now, I don't know if you're applauding because of the land acknowledgement or I remembered the whole thing. We are inducting Mr. Jim Gauthier inductee number 36 and inductee number 37, David Johnson, but there are 35 other inductees that have been uh, in inducted into the Manitoba Business Hall of Fame since 2013. There's a number of them that are in the room tonight or have a presence in the room. I just want to acknowledge them uh, to keep that history alive, just to show you what kind of fabric is in this community. And so not all 35, I can assure you, are here. Uh, in 2013, we had Dr. Israel Asper uh, inducted along with Muriel Richardson and James A. Richardson. Gail is here somewhere, and Hartley and Heather are here. Let's give them a round of applause. In skipping ahead all the way to 2017, uh, the Honorable Doug Everett. I didn't. I think Ashley Everett, Stuart Murray, uh, Lila. Goodspeed is here, and, and Sandy Riley was on uh, the same bill in 2017. Let's acknowledge their inductee. <laughs> Richard Croft in 2018, Ida Albo, and Jerry Price, I believe, uh, and Steve Croft is in attendance on behalf of Richard, so the 2018 inductees.
In 2019, Albert Altassi was inducted. I believe he's in the building. Bob Tallman was part of that group. That was the first year I emceed the event. Now, Bob isn't here, but Princess Auto definitely has a presence here. They have, where's the Princess Auto table? Where are you guys? Right there? So the Tallman shadow, that's good, but you'll have more louder paws in just a moment because the Tallman sons own, one owns Empty Cup and the other one owns Trans Canada Brewery and they're supplying the coffee and the suds tonight. So, hey, Tallmans, thanks very much. Okay. Now you can give them a round of applause. In 2020, that uh, event was, um, 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 uh, that Hall of Fame event was uh, deferred because of the pandemic. It was in 2022, but that was Hartley Richardson uh, and Doug Harvey. And Hartley Richardson is here along with Heather, so let's give them a round of applause. Is Heather here? Yeah, there's Heather. Yeah. And then I haven't seen these two wonderful ladies, Barb Gammy and Lee Mahar. I think Barb might be here with Brent and Lee Mahar with Pat. Where are you guys? Yes. So those are the inductees that are, have a presence here. The one inductee I want to pay homage to is Doug Harvey, who wanted to be here, who can't be here because he's dealing with some health concerns. He was inducted in 2022 along the same, on the same bill as... Um, as Hartley Richardson. He also emceed this event <clears throat> for five years and tricked me uh, into doing it. So if I, if, uh, if I die up here, you blame Doug, okay? Uh, but if you know Doug, you know and love that he's friends of many. Um, I call him the Don Rickles of the business community. Um, I'm not out of turn when I say this because he's an open book. He says, Beebs, you can say whatever you want. But he, is, he, he was diagnosed with an incurable cancer nine and a half years ago. He's been running ahead of it for so long, and he has to pause right now, all hands on deck, getting a ton of treatments. He is basically barricading himself inside his house, and he's doing what he needs to be doing. Had a good chat with him yesterday, uh, and we talked about it, but I, I want to share with you a text I sent him uh, on the weekend. Now, if you don't know Doug, and if you're into politically correctness, uh, you should probably close your ears. <laughs> if you know Doug, but he's an open book, and uh, everything he says is from love. So I sent him a text, and I said, hey, Harv, uh, how's it going? Just checking in, which is, I think, all his friends do. It's, you know, I'm, so I'm just lucky to be part of that group. He says, hey, Biebs, which is my nickname because of Bieber. He says, it's been a very tough week, with the four Ps being prevalent all week. Puking, peeing, pooping, and pain. Hard to look forward to eight more of these, but we are going to win. Thanks for checking in. It's greatly appreciated. White tux all clean and pressed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Harv. Sure wish I could be there. Johnston and Gochi are bar none, one of Win the, the Winnipeg's finest. Just love those guys as I love my beeps. Thank you, Harv. And I forgot to mention that I'm answering you from my throne. <laughs> love the chemo king or chemo queen. And that's Doug Harvey. How about a round of applause for Doug and wish him well. Three VIPs I want to acknowledge. Uh, Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce President Lord Lauren Remelin is in the house. Yes, yes, I see a hand waving. Brent Burley, who was once the more mayor of Morden, I think is connected to a South Cabinet uh, uh, venture. Not, he's handling a South ca a Cabinet in Southern Manitoba on behalf of the provincial government. Brent Burley, where are you? Somewhere out there? Not here? Then why is your name on the... Okay, anyway. And Wayne Iwasco, uh, the MLA for Lac de Bonne, uh, is leader of the opposition, and he's waving his hand. Okay. It doesn't help when you wave a hand. So... One more non-inductee, which is rather personal to me. I have three daughters. One is off to Regina for a dance competition, the 15-year-old, this weekend. Another who was here uh, at the last dinner, Sophia, is in Calgary. So I asked my middle daughter, Rebecca, I have to, um, there's perks of the job, ladies and gentlemen, perks of the job. 17-year-old daughter goes to school at Kelvin. I thought, why don't you come out and be my plus one and get a look at what the old man does from time to time and get a taste of just how wonderful this community is by far the youngest person here, bringing the age down by about a couple of weeks. And uh, Rebecca, I want you to stand up. Right. Come on, come on. That's my beautiful daughter, Rebecca Bieber.
Thank you for being my plus one. And just because you got your Andy Warhol 15 minutes of fame, you still have to clean your room. I'm telling you that right now. Enjoy your night, love. On your table is a cookie. Attached to that cookie is a business card. And you can thank Horizon Technology and Service Company. And on that business card is a QR code. And you techies, if you want to take a picture of that QR code, somebody is going home with an Apple Watch tonight. Table 26, Jeff Koziak, the chair of the board. Where is Jeff? Yeah, way at the back on the far corner. Um, if, you're, if it pops up and you see your name right there, you get an Apple Watch, but you also have the ability to earn an Apple Watch. So there's a twofold. Jeff, did you bring the watch here tonight? No, he didn't. You're still going to get a watch. We'll make sure of it. Ladies and gentlemen, our first speaker. This gentleman doesn't know that I know that he was vice president of the Sikh Society in Manitoba. He also doesn't know that he was head of communication and engagement at the University of Manitoba. He also doesn't know that I know he has a Wikipedia page because he's an MLA. And he probably's never had an introduction like this before. Bringing greetings from the province of Manitoba and the Premier, Jazz Deep Davlin. Hello and welcome. All yours. Thank you for that. Um, no, I have never had an introduction like that. Um, and you know quite a lot about me. Thank you so much. I actually have never Googled myself, so I, don't, I didn't know there was a Wikipedia page, but that's wild. Uh, what a room, what energy, and uh, just excitement to be here. It's going to be tough to follow that, but I'm going to do my best. Good evening, folks. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you all and bring greetings on behalf of Premier Canoe and my colleagues at the Manitoba Legislature. I'd like to thank Greg Leipzig and Junior Achievement Manitoba for inviting me to join you this evening. I'd also like to extend a huge congratulations to Mr. Jim Gauthier and Mr. Dave Johnston for your tremendous social and economic contributions to Manitoba. Our government is committed to building a strong economic future for our province, a future where businesses want to invest and where families can build a good life. But we can't do this alone. We are a listening government and we rely on the knowledge and expertise of our business community to carve a path for growing our uh, economic future. This is why we have established the Premier's Business and Jobs Council, the uh, PB&J Council, um, which brings together leaders from across Manitoba to guide us in launching an ambitious economic strategy, development strategy. Together, we can capitalize on Manitoba's strategic advantages and create a province that is ideal for business investment. Recently, our government tabled our first budget, which underscores our commitment to growing our economy. We are making investments in programming to address pressing challenges for businesses like labor shortages and skill gaps. Some of these include an additional $1.5 million for apprenticeship training to meet future needs of employers stable and predictable funding for post-secondary trading, partnering with sector associations, employers, labor organizations to develop and maintain a highly skilled workforce that can adapt to evolving business needs. And we are working to ensure young entrepreneurs in our province have the resources and support needed to establish successful businesses in Manitoba. Manitoba's business community plays an integral role in all of this. Events such as this one help us bring to everyone together and recognize the amazing contributions of the business and community leaders. I'm honored to be here to celebrate the achievements of Mr. Gauthier and Mr. Johnson and recognize the many contributions they have made to our province. Congratulations again to you both. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Jazz Deep, Dabgan, MLA for McPhillips. Thank you and good luck with your political career and please give us our regards to the Premier. Thank you very, very much. This next gentleman, when he was sworn in as mayor, had his first public appearance here at the 8th Annual Manitoba Business Hall of Fame. He had a tough day at the office today at council with a couple light subjects I'm sure he was dealing with, such as transportation and infrastructure or crime or public safety, perhaps maybe poverty or a bit of homelessness. 
but his legacy might be the equivalent of Duff's ditch if Portage in Maine gets opened up. <laughs> Would you please welcome, I think a man who is clearly, you can start walking up because I got another hour of material, our mayor, his worship, Mr. Scott Gillingham. How about a hand for Greg? He's always looking great. He looks like you're always ready for the whiteout party, Greg. That's great. So you're looking good, man. So thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. It really is my pleasure to be here at the 10th Annual Manitoba Business Hall of Fame Gala. I want to recognize MLA uh, Devgan. Good to see you. MLA Iwatsko as well. The former inductees into the Business Hall of Fame. It's so good to hear that so many of you are here tonight. Thank you also to JA Manitoba CEO and President Greg Leipzig, Chair Jeff Koziak, and the entire board of directors for the invitation to be here yet again tonight. It was good to be at the last, uh, last couple of events, the last couple of years, and it's always an exciting event. As many of you know, this year marks Winnipeg's 150th anniversary as a city. And the theme of our Winnipeg 150 celebrations is our shared stories and our shared future. And it's an opportunity for us as a community to reflect on the stories of our community. Each one of you in this room, your business, your family, your friends, the neighborhood you live in, the neighborhood your business is in, all have a story. Of course, as Greg rightly pointed out, the story of Winnipeg is only 150 years old. Indigenous communities uh, and members have been in this, these lands for thousands upon thousands of years. But it was the business leaders of the day, 150 years ago, that had the vision and took the steps to organize the burgeoning young community into a city. Really, Winnipeg has, was founded 150 years ago because of the leaders and the actions of the business community. It's those business leaders who have built, and successive business leaders, that have built our community over the generations. And it's those business leaders, you in this room, and others, who are leading us into the future of our community. Since 2013, JA Manitoba Business Hall of Fame has been celebrating and acknowledging outstanding business leaders in our community. Individuals whose lives, dedication, and commitment have shaped Winnipeg and our entire province. One of the things that has really impressed me since becoming mayor is the opportunity that I have to get all across the city to see the sheer number of people that are doing great things in our city. Yes, we have problems. We have potholes and other things as well. We understand that. We have challenges. Every city does. But I've told people before, I wish you could just be with me for a month. I wish you could just follow me around. You would be so impressed at the number of wonderful people all across the city who are dedicated to our community, dedicated to doing their part to making it better. We have a wonderful city, and it's because of people like you in this room. And I want to take the opportunity today to really congratulate two of those remarkable individuals the 2024 inductees, Jim Goche, founder of Jim Goche Automotive Group, and Dave Johnson of the Johnson Group. As we know, two very deserving recipients who are widely respected local entrepreneurs and community leaders. Like so many in this room, uh, Jim Goche and Dave Johnson have invested in Winnipeg, been dedicated to our community, employed others, been visionaries, and been generous. And that it seems to be a hallmark of all the remarkable uh, men and women in our community is that they are not only successful in their business and they risk and they, they take, uh, take chances and employ others, but the mark of generosity is perhaps to me one of the most impressive things about so many of the people in our great city. And so on behalf of the city of Winnipeg, my council colleagues, thank you both to Jim Goche and Dave Johnson for all you have done to help build a better Winnipeg for everybody who lives here. You are joining a list of very impressive honorees in the Manitoba Business Hall of Fame. So congratulations on this well-deserved honor. 
And in closing, once again, I just want to say thank you to the JA Manitoba staff, the board of directors, the volunteers for organizing tonight's event. I hope everybody enjoys this evening. Merci, miigwech, thank you. Mayor Gillingham. I can't let the Portage and Maine issue just go away for a second. I'll tell you why, Mr. Mayor. I was in Japan a couple of months ago and I noodled around, I was there for speed skating, but I noodled around Tokyo for a couple days and I came across a district called Shibuya. Now, I think Will, where's Will? Where's Will? Yeah, you, you two honeymooned there, right? So you know, you probably know what I, how many people have been to Japan? Yeah, so you guys are going to know what I'm, the busiest, yeah, you honeymooned there. I got that, I said that already. So there's this intersection. It's the busiest pedestrian intersection in the entire world. It's, it's the town of Menadosa that crosses, scramble crosses every 60 seconds. The light goes green, 2,500 people or so cross, and then the light goes red 60 seconds later. The cars go, I mean the Japanese, as you know, they're really well behaved, well trained, it's crazy. But if they can do that in Japan, Mr. Mayor, with a little training, I think we could probably do it with much less people in Port of Jermaine. So I wish you all the best with the endeavors, and thank you for, for being in right livelihood serving our city. The mayor. Shibuya. I'm not making it up. You, you Wikipedia, along with Jasmine. The next speaker is from our, uh, is from our presenting sponsor for nine of the last ten years. Uh, CWB, Canadian Western Bank, has supported the, this uh, event. And tonight we're going to hear from Vice President of Sales, Mr. Miles McDonnell. Absolutely, you nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. Thanks, Greg. Uh, tonight we're here to celebrate two remarkable legacies that serve as shining examples for the next generation of entrepreneurs and business leaders. This is not just a momentous occasion to recognize the extraordinary achievements of these individuals. It also stands as testament to the positive impact they have had and will continue to have on future generations of business leaders, many of whom are, have joined us tonight. I think we can all agree that the long-term success of our province and country depends on our ability to continuously develop the next genera generation of smart, resourceful, and visionary people. And we must recognize the vital role that today's leaders play as mentors for aspiring business professionals and entrepreneurs. The pride and long-standing support that Canadian Western Bank has for junior achievement is equal to our belief that it's crucial to nurture our future business Hall of Fame inductees. We need to provide young business minds with opportunities, resources, and guidance to help them realize their full potential. We know these efforts are at the heart of JA's mission, and by furthering this mission, we will ensure that our communities and industries thrive with a diverse range of skills, abilities, and perspectives. The success of our future business leaders lies in our commitment to uplift those who will follow in our footsteps. One key to empowering the next generation is building strong networks and relationships. As business leaders and entrepreneurs, we know firsthand the significance of supportive network that understands the challenges and opportunities we face. Our two inductees have undoubtedly forged a long and winding road before achieving the success they look back on today they will almost certainly attest the importance of having the right partners, leaders, and mentors. The truth is, success in life is not guaranteed. It takes great communities, great leaders, and great mentors to move forward. Today, more than ever, relationships play a crucial role in supporting entrepreneurs and business leaders. Behind every champion, there is a network of support, living their struggles, and celebrating their triumphs. I'm sure our two esteemed inductees will agree we must empower both young people and young business leaders. And we must surround them with the right resources and mentors to help them reach their full potential. These connections not only provide us with the guidance, 
advice and access to resources, but they also offer a great sense of togetherness, camaraderie, and encouragement. Tonight, we celebrate not only achievements of our inductees, but also the power of strong networks and relationships. Let us recognize the vital role they play in supporting the entrepreneurs and business leaders, and may the stories of our inductees inspire a promising future. Thank you, and let the celebration begin. Miles McDonnell. Thank you for being our presenting sponsor. Well done. Much appreciated. Our last speaker has something similar to me. When he was born, his mother had a similar idea. When I was born, let's name this son Greg. This is one of the Gregs you know. The president and CEO of JA Manitoba, Greg Leipzig. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, Greg, for doing such a fantastic job again. Um, the uh, event planner, Ree, says we're running about 12 minutes behind. Uh, I don't really care. I'm just thrilled there's not a jet game and a whiteout street party out front. So, uh, Thank you to Jim and Dave uh, for allowing us to honour you tonight. You were most generous with your time over the past few months to prepare us for this evening. To all of you, thank you for your kind financial support and attendance this evening. I especially want to thank Roger Norberg and the staff from RBC who ushered you all into your seats as well. This is our 10th Hall of Fame gala and I'm thrilled to see so many familiar faces and welcome new friends. This is our signature fundraising event for JA Manitoba, but it's more than just a gala for us. It allows us to learn from two extraordinary Manitobans about the cornerstones of leadership the elements of entrepreneurial success and the importance of giving back in the community. The proceeds support JA Manitoba's mission, which is to bring together educators, employers, and the community at large to educate our youth about financial literacy and prepare Manitoba's future workforce. Our promise is to deliver learning experiences that help young people reach their full potential. To that end, I'm pleased to report with only a few months left in the school year, we are on track to reach over 20,000 Manitoba students a 30% increase from pre-pandemic levels. Thank you. Our flagship program is the JA Company program in which high school students conceive and develop their own business venture, selling shares in their company, writing a business plan, and marketing their products. As Greg mentioned, you're gonna meet some of them shortly. Finally, I wanna take a little bit of time to recognize two groups. Uh, on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the Hall of Fame, I wanna recognize a few companies and volunteers. On screen behind me, hopefully coming up in a second, you'll see a list of companies, and of companies who have supported the Business Hall of Fame and JA since its inception. George Shannon, the renowned local artist, has, pre has made some signature pieces that our students are going to bring out to these sponsors right now as a thank you on behalf of JA. So if you could bring those out um, to the tables, that would be terrific. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm going to call on stage three of my colleagues, Jeanette Bergman, Sean Andrews, and Joy Lorette, and 11 wonderful volunteers. It kind of looks like a funeral procession. Let's, <laughs> we can pick it up. We can pick it up. They're just tired from a long winter of volunteering for JA. Test. I'm not sure how they would do at Portage and Main right now if we opened it up. Come on up. Pick it up, kids. Let's go. Thanks, Beebs. Right down there. Right down there. Right down there. Fantastic. Be careful on the stairs. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I will do it expeditiously to pick up time. I'm going to recognize these are 11 volunteers who have volunteered for JA. And the very first one that I want to mention is Barb Ruddig. Barb is a longtime employee of RBC, now semi-retired. She first started volunteering for JA in 2008. For the past 11 years, she has been delivering the Stronger Together Diversity in Action program in Winnipeg. Thank you, Barb. William Dowie is a self-employed sustainability consultant and researcher who's been delivering our community program to grade twos and four students for almost 20 years. Thank you, William.
Brian Steves. Brian's the owner of Steves Agencies, a wholesale distributor of industrial commercial supplies. He's been delivering our community, dollars with cents, and our business world for over 12 years. Thank you, Brian. Royal Dubritsky, a financial consultant with IG Wealth Management. When in high school, he was a member of our company program, and his team's corporate sponsor was James Richardson and Sons. He was the vice president of his HR for his company that made butcher block knife holders. Royals delivered a program for over 12 years for JA. <laughs> Brian Nedowin first started volunteering for JA 20 years ago while working with Manitoba Agriculture. Brian's retired in 2015 and continues to be a dedicated volunteer for JA in the Morden area. Lena Cowling Mason. Lena began volunteering with JA 15 years ago when working as economic development officer in the Woodlands. She continues to volunteer today in her current role as GM of Future Community Futures West Interlake. <laughs> Tyler King originally started volunteering for JA 20 years ago while working in Boisevane. Through positions at the Economic Development in Carmen and the RM of Dufferin, He's currently Executive Director of Boyne Care and Carmen and continues to enjoy volunteering for JA. Uh, Danelle Huging, self-employed project manager. Danelle has worked with over 200 students over 10 years and has been instrumental in not only mentoring students to develop successful companies, she's also encouraged them to donate to organizations such as Children's Hospital and Winnipeg Pet Rescue Shelter. Amina Haswell of Find the Facts, Inc. She's a fraud examiner, workplace investigator, and serial entrepreneur, and she has volunteered for 14 years. <laughs> Rosina Belisario has worked at Manitoba Hydro for 15 years, is currently in, in a financial process improvement lead at Hydro, and has volunteered for 10 years delivering our programs. <laughs> and last but not least, Adriano Magnifico, has been volunteering for JA for 40 years. A career and entrepreneurship consultant in the Louis Real School Division, he's been mentoring students across many high schools. He currently hosts a podcast called Adventures in Careerland where he hosts former students who are now entrepreneurs. A big round of applause for all of these folks. And thank you all for joining us this evening and your attendance and support. Good night. Okay, be careful going down the steps. One more time, big round of applause for the volunteers. Wow, that's awesome. Keep the dinner coming out, no matter. While they're doing that, please turn your attention to the video screen for a 58 second video, Trip Wire, that did the videos for Dave and Jim. You're gonna see a bit of their work, but instead of showing their work, they adjust their work and a, and a sort of a PR move. They have a cool idea about family memories. Doug Darling is here tonight. I think he was here at previous events. Let's turn our attention to the video and for 58 seconds, Caleb, let's have a look. Hey, I'm Doug. And this is my dad, Bob. On a road trip years ago, my dad shared stories I'd never heard. His college struggles, his first job, basically the timeline of his life. It was great, but I knew I'd never remember all of this. And so I told myself, I've got to record this. With that in the final stages of dementia now, I'm so thankful that I collected hours of his stories to hold for my mom, my siblings, and eventually my kids when they grow up. And that's why I created Legacy Library. At Legacy Library, we safeguard life stories. Through personalized consultation and professional filming, we preserve your family's unique history. It's more than recording. It's about immortalizing stories for generations to come. These stories are too important to lose. That's why we're here to help. Let's work together to preserve the past for the future. And wait till you see the videos for Dave and Jim. Thank you, Doug. Great, great work, and thank you for being a sponsor for this event. Okay, dinner is now coming out. This is your time, but we're going to squeeze, we're going to interrupt you just a couple of times with the JA scholarships, but take about 15 minutes, and then we're going to do the JAers that come out. So, we have an hour and 15 minutes. We're doing the inductee ceremony at 8.30 or shortly before, so we're, I, gotta, I got bosses I got to uh, uh, answer to. So you're going to help me out. I know you're going to help me out. All right, enjoy your dinner. Be back here shortly.